Today I spent uh, with a number of teachers from around the country uh, who are involved in accompanying adolescents and we were talking about adolescence development. And I'm really, really grateful to God that uh, AOSK has this program that promotes the well-being of teachers. Uh, today also we've learned a lot on transition and the challenges on transition. Thank you AOSK. You are doing a great job. The seed you've planted in me and in my colleagues is going to blossom into a big, large and beautiful tree for the glory of God and for the benefit of our country. God bless you. Getting a father figure for your teenage daughter is hugely important. Is hugely important. And usually, I do a lot of adolescent psychology classes for parents, especially. And I tell the fathers, please take out your daughter. Take out your daughter. Go out with her for a lunch or a dinner. It doesn't have to be expensive, but spend time with them. You have to do that. If you don't do that, there is a certain uh, desire. And that's why another reason why uh, fatherless girls tend to be sexually promiscuous is they, they are looking for that. Um, father figure in, uh, in, in, in boys and they don't know how to interact, they don't know how to interact with boys because that's the role of the father to do that. At the end of the day, one thing that will make you so happy that you know transition in Mengia, that is what I want you to write. What is right? Like, what one thing do you want done for you that will make you so happy contented and you will be the happiest person to go away um, to teach and preach about transition. And for four great years, those green girls became the best. I have so many lawyers, I have so many doctors, I have so many that are all over because they were in that green class. Do you have some green classes, green people in your schools, people that have been uh, constricted and given names? I want to give you two minutes to share. Uh, since yesterday when we started, I've learned a lot. One, on the stages of development, on the youth, the adolescence, and the challenges they go through as they progress, and uh, the problems also they meet in their schools. Uh, today also we've learned a lot on transition and the challenges on transition. And one thing I've learned, or there are many things I've learned, but how, we are, how I can help the, the youth and the adolescents trans, to transit from one stage to another, from one class to another, and even choosing their careers. So I'm happy because uh, the center that I work for, the grandsons of Abram, um, is for children that have been rescued from the streets, and they are irritable because of the background that they have come from, they, some of them are bitter uh, because some have been abused and therefore the, uh, the workshop, this workshop is going to help me so much to be able now to understand, now I understand them, I understand their brain and how and how they develop and I'm, uh, I'm able now to journey with them as a loving father to them. Thank you ASK, you are doing a great job. The seed you've planted in me and in my colleagues is going to blossom into a big, large, and beautiful tree for the glory of God and for the benefit of our country. God bless you. Today I spent uh, with a number of teachers from around the country uh, who are involved in accompanying adolescents and we were talking about adolescence development and we were exploring the variety of ways that the different dimensions that uh, adolescents, adolescents go through the cognitive we spoke about the moral we, talk, we spoke about the psychosocial and we spoke about even the social and spiritual itself and i know i know 
one what that means especially for the adolescents and it was very very fascinating day I tell you that the teachers really did enjoy themselves they learned a lot from the feedback that they have given me we have ended with some discussions about what are some of the areas they fe they felt today's discussion has been helpful to them and so discussing these has made me understand how much teachers especially who are accompanying adolescents need a lot of psychological support in terms of uh, training and knowledge of what happens in the teenagers bodies the changes that are happening to them and the implications of that and what kind of support they need from families and from teachers and so at the very end it seems that the teachers have found this to be very very useful and I'm very glad to have shared this uh, knowledge and information with them because I want to bring psychology to the street and uh, to make sure that it is understandable and it's applicable for people in all walks of life. Many of them demonstrated that they had what it takes to be mentors to the young people, to be able to help young people transit from one uh, stage to another. And that for me is a really important aspect that we are people who can prepare uh, future professionals, future parents, future persons who are well-grounded, knowledgeable, and have the skill. So today was an amazing day for me. And I'm really, really grateful to God that uh, AOSK has this program that promotes the well-being of teachers, um, gives them an opportunity to talk about their own experiences and be able to use th this new knowledge to enhance the ability to form young people.